Ay, 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 ay. Hey, hey, you don't even know what I'm doing here. Hey, they just ran me and said, come. And now I am here. Hey, hey, baby, the dead daddy. Hey, but what am I doing here? I don't know. Sekuru! How are you, Sekuru? Little one, how are you? I'm fine, Sekuru. Hey. Sekuru, you're shiny, shiny. What's hey, happening? It's the nose. Ah, the nose. I like yes, it. It's shining. Hi, kids. Hey, kids. How are you today? Boys and girls. Auntie Tino here. Hey, Sekuru Moses. Sekuru? Yes. Do you know what we're doing here today? Ay, 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 ay. I don't know. Ah, Sekuru doesn't know. Kids, do you know what we're doing today? So let me tell you. Today we're shooting episode number... Two. Hey, of hey, what? Hey. What are we shooting, Sekuru? Oh, Do you I know? I don't know. So kids, we've been doing this fantabulous, fantabulous series fantabulous. called ha, Living for God. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. Living for God, yes. Sekuru. Yeah. Living yeah. for God, Sekuru Moses. Yeah. This is our series that we've been doing. Uh -huh. But Sekuru, I have a problem, Sekuru. Okay. I have a big problem. Talk to me. Hmm. Ah. I don't remember, Sekuru, what ah. we did last week. Kids, do you remember what we did last week? Can you help Uncle Auntie Tino here? I think the group Moses can help you. Please help me, Sekuru. But I don't remember too. Oh, so I wonder who can help us, Sekuru. Who can tell us what we did last week? Putting God first! Oh, so where, where, did you, where, did you, where did you guys come from? Oh my gosh. So guys, we have Hannah and Ethan and they're telling us we did putting God first last week. So Sekuru, Last week we were putting God first. Today okay. we'll be obeying Jesus, yeah. putting others first, okay. and learning about God's super strength. Yeah, 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 yeah. Before we get into today's lesson, Sekuru Mose, yeah. do you know what we're going to do? <gasps> we're going to play a game, yeah, kids. Yeah, yeah. A game. Yeah. But Sekuru, 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 yes. and said, do you know yeah. what? Last week, girls, we lost. <laughs> We lost girls, but this week we're bringing the trophy home. Isn't that true, Hannah? Yes! Yes! Ethan, we are going to crash you. No, we're crashing you. Crash you. Okay, so kids, this is the game that we're playing today. It's called Balancing Ball. So we have Hannah and Ethan. So already we know that the boys are winning two to one, right? So they have to walk across each other in a straight line balancing the ball on their ping pong. The first person to drop this ball loses and the person who keeps the ball on the ping pong wins. So guys, are you ready? Yes! Girls, are you ready? Yes! Boys? Yes! I hope you guys are supporting at home. Okay, so two, one, let's go. Okay, okay. So guys, the girls, the boys, they're doing well. So come on guys, keep on moving, keep on moving. Let's go, let's see. Guys, are you anxious? I really want the girls to win. Oh guys, so the girls lost. So we're going to redo the second round because we're going to do three rounds. So you guys, let's start this again. Hannah, you have to pick up your pace. We need to win. Okay, let's go guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, Ethan, Ethan, you're walking slowly, man. Okay, okay. So, Hannah, Hannah's doing good. Oh, okay. So, the boys lost this round. Okay, so, one more round. Who do you think is going to win? I don't know. I am anxious. Okay, guys, so, it's 1-1 one, one right now. Oh, my God. I am so excited and anxious at the same time because I need girls to win. Hannah, can we win this? Yes! Ethan, I love you, but today you're going to lose. Okay, guys, let's oh. do this one more time. One more time. Okay, so let's go. Let's go, guys. Come on, guys. You guys can do this. Guys at home, I hope you're enjoying this. Okay, girls. Girls are doing good. Boys. Come on, boys. Let's move. Let's move. Okay, this is so exciting, guys. This is so exciting. Who do you think is going to win, guys? Do you think it's the girls? Do you think it's the boys? I don't know. Okay, okay. Okay. Do you, who do you think, guys? Oh, okay, guys. So, guys, the boys won this round. Come, guys, let's do a dance. <laughs> Woo! Good job. Good job, girls. So, girls, next time, I hope you guys will win. But remember, we're all winners in Christ, okay? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
So guys, I hope you enjoyed our game. It's now time for the lesson. Ay, 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 ay. Welcome back. <laughs> hey, hey, was that good? That was really good, Sekuru. What, should, what more should I say? Sekuru, you need to talk about obedience today because oh. Our lesson, like I said earlier, it's about obeying Hi. Jesus. So we need to know how we're living. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I know how to obey. You see, I'm obeying you already. Yeah, I'm yeah, doing so this cool. show with you here is, is very, very hard, but I'm obeying. Okay, Sekuru, let's slow down a okay, bit, Sekuru. Yes. Okay, so Sekuru, uh, we talked about uh, living for God, and you know, last week we talked about putting others. Ah, yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Sekuru, Hi. Sekuru. You know what happens when people don't obey? What? They get ah, yeah, yeah, a yeah, lashing, yeah. Sekuru. Little one, don't worry. Sekuru. I can, I can do that spanking for you. Yes. So today <laughs> we're talking about obedience. Yes. Yes. Okay. And Katina said I should obey. So I'm obeying here by doing this show with you. Yes. Yes. So Sekuru, I have a memory verse for you today. Okay. So kids, today our verse is coming from Luke 11, verse 28. Okay. Okay. So our verse... This is what it says, the guru. Let's open our Bibles. Kids, do you have your Bibles at home? I if you have, have your Bible, Bibles, yeah. please let's open them and let's go on Luke 11, verse 28. Luke is in the, in, the, in the New Testament. Yes, it's in the New Testament. Okay, Luke? Yes, I have got Luke here. Okay. So Luke 11, verse 28. So let's read it together, Sekuru. Okay. This says, he replied, Blessed rather are those who hear the word of God and obey it. So, kids, when I hear the word hear, what I think about first is my ears. Sekuru, yes. what do you think about when hey. someone says hear? I might think of a stubborn person. Of a stubborn person. Yes, who does not want to hear. Who doesn't want to listen, right? Yes, and obey. So we use our ears to hear. Yeah. And we hear what? The word of God. Yes. But then it's not enough to just hear kids. You also okay. need to obey the word. Yes. By obeying, what do we mean, Sekuru? Hey, this reminds me of a story, little one. Yes. Hey, there was a guy called Moses. Moses, just like you. Moses, I knew Moses in the Bible. Oh, that's, that's so cool. Person. That's so cool, kid. Hey. So Sekuru is also in the Bible. Yes, Sekuru Moses. Sekuru Moses. Okay. Yes. Tell me more, Sekuru. Hey, so okay. this person was a stubborn person. Very stubborn. I think they call him, um, they call him Fire. Fire. Hey, fire. Fa fa fa. Sekuru, I'm confused. Who's fa fa fa? Faro. Oh. Yes, Faro. Yes. Wait, let me make a phone call. Oh, okay, okay, Sekuru. You know, I know how to use technology as well. Don't call me Sekuru for nothing. Hey. Yes, can you hear me? I want us to play a video right now of that story ah. of Faro and Sekuru Moses. So kids, we're going to watch a video. Yay, okay. so cool. Watch the video with us. So here's where we are in the story. The Israelites had been slaves for years and years, and they wanted out. So they cried out to God, rescue us. But Pharaoh wouldn't let them go. No. So God sent some trouble to Pharaoh. First, God turned the Egyptians' river to blood, but that didn't work on Pharaoh. No. Then, he made frogs invade Egypt. There were frogs everywhere. No. Then, God sent zillions of gnats and flies. But still, Pharaoh wouldn't let the Israelites go. No. So, God decided to punish Pharaoh more. He sent sickness and horrible boils to appear on people's skin. No! But still, Pharaoh didn't obey. So God sent hailstones, that's pieces of ice, falling from the sky. Next, he sent a swarm of locusts. Now those were like the flies and gnats, only these guys ate all the food in Egypt. And still, Pharaoh said, nah. Next was complete darkness. No, light. And finally, God told Pharaoh that if he didn't obey and let the Israelites go, all of the firstborn in Egypt would die. Unless lamb's blood had been painted on the family's doorpost. That did it. When Pharaoh's son died because Pharaoh didn't obey, the leader finally said to the Israelites, Go. 
So that very night, the Israelites left. They didn't know which way to go or where they were headed, but God had promised them something. He said, I will show you a new way, a new land, and a new home. So, to help them out, God sent a huge cloud for the Israelites to follow. A cloud and a pillar of smoke stretched up to the sky. During the day, the cloud shaded them from the heat in the desert, and at night it glowed with warmth to keep them safe and warm while they slept. When it was time to move, the cloud moved in front of them, and when it was time to rest, the cloud stopped. The Israelites walked and walked and walked until God led his people through the desert to the edge of a great sea. They were wondering, how will we cross the water? When suddenly they heard the sound of thundering and pounding. It sounded like horse hooves. Pharaoh had changed his mind again. He wanted the Israelites back. And now Pharaoh's army was chasing after the Israelites. The Israelites didn't know what to do. They were stuck with a giant sea in front of them and an army behind them, and it was coming fast. They panicked. The water was too deep to walk through and too far and long to swim through. They didn't have boats or horses, and the soldiers were getting closer and closer and closer. But Moses told them, God will make a way for us to escape. And then something strange happened, something they had never seen before. The cloud moved behind the people and hid them from the Egyptians. God told Moses to raise his hands and his staff, and God sent a strong wind to blow on the water. The wind blew all night long. It blew some of the water to the left and some to the right until there were two towering walls of water and right in the middle was dry land. The Israelites took a step and another step and another step until all of the Israelites had walked right through, right where all those enormous waves had been. God had rescued the Israelites again and it wouldn't be the last time he did that. God would save them again, once and for all. But that comes later. And I can't wait for you to hear that story. Okay guys, so what an amazing video. Yes. So guys, whew, this Faro person, mm, hi. Wow, so Faro guys, God was telling him, let my people go. I did not listen. And Pharaoh was not listening. Pharaoh did not want. He did not hear. Pharaoh was hard as a rock. You know how the rock is like so hard. Guys, not the rock like the rock. Uh -uh. The rock that you see on the ground, right? So Pharaoh's heart was so hard that he did not obey God. Every single time that God was like, let my people go, Pharaoh was like, no. And you saw God, he brought so many plagues to Egypt. There were flies, there were frogs, there were boils. The water even turned red, guys. Imagine your water turning into blood. Mm, yeah, right? But Pharaoh still said no. So what was Pharaoh doing? One word that Pharaoh was doing all this while. Say, Guru, do you know this word? No, tell me. This word is disobedience. Hey. Pharaoh was disobeying what God was telling him to do. But today, kids, we are learning about obedience. What we need to do is to obey God. When God tells us to do something, we need to obey. And how do we obey God? Someone might ask. I know some of you are wondering, so how do I obey God? I have a very simple answer for you guys. So when you read the word, our verse is saying you need to hear the word of God and obey it. So you can't obey something that you, you need an instruction to aye, obey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, little one, yes. you speak too much. I speak but too much. But you're a good preacher and you're a good pastor. Yes, yes. yes. So Sekou. kids, you can hear what Auntie Tino is saying. Yes. You need to hear and obey. And obey the word of God. Just like Sekuru Moses. Yes. Yes, just like Sekuru. Sekuru was obeying today. Yes. Okay, kids. So as we're about to go home, Remember, we're living for God. 
So when we're living for God, it means we need to obey His word, read His word. That means reading our Bibles every single day and hey. praying. Angelina. Hey, mm. this Pharaoh guy mm -hmm. was not listening. Our Pharaoh was not was listening. Was stubborn. Very stubborn. Kids, let us not be stubborn at home. Hey. Yes. So when your mom tells you, Jane, go wash the dishes. Don't be like Pharaoh. Yes. Obey your parents. Hey. Okay, kids. So now we're about to pray. Okay. Sekuru, let's pray. All right. Dear God, thank you for this service and thank you for this day. We pray that you soften our hearts so that we're able to understand, read your word and obey you all the time so that we might live for you all the days of our lives and help us to not be like Pharaoh who did not obey your word. In the mighty name of Jesus and everybody said, Amen. 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 Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Antetino, before we go, yes. let's try this obedience game. Okay. Kids at home, are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. When Sekuru Moses says stand up, stand up. Okay. Kids, stand up. Kids, go up. Okay. I okay. can see that one standing up. Yeah. Hey, but the stubborn one there. That didn't hey. stand up. Stand up. Good. Kids, sit down. Okay. Jump up. Ah, I like this one. Hey. Very, very energetic. Hey, hey, hey. I said, thumbs up. Thumbs out. Hey. Uh, you see? Uh, Obey Sekuru Moses. If you obey the Guru Moses, you get some sweeties and not a stick. Hey? Sweeties? Ah, yeah, yeah. Who loves yeah. sweets, guys? I yeah. love sweets. I think it's time for us to go. It's time for us to go. Do you want us yes. to go? Goodbye. Bye, guys. And obey God.